hello, and if you remember correctly, we're about to take our army and try to land them on Trinidad and Tobago. That's really just Trinidad, I think. But I don't know if you can get... Yeah, you can't embark any more men than this. Marcher! So this army is going to have to be the one that that conquers these islands. And if not, then they might die. Well, they will die. Unless I can pick them up with my navy, but that's not guaranteed. Let's just scout out, actually. It's on these islands. Where did their... Where did it go? They had a, they had more men than this. Well, we can actually take them out this turn. I wasn't expecting it to be this simple. I don't want to wait this one out because the Indians have more troops, I know that. So what we need to do is actually just go and kill them all. That artillery only has a range of 250, so it's not that useful as fixed artillery. But basically, we're just gonna have to kill them all, pretty much, so that we can be ready for whatever the Indians have left after this. So I'll see you on the battlefield. So, here we are on the battlefield, and my units are, I have my regiment of horse over here, my, you can read that if you speak French, Republican conscripts, then a bunch of line infantry until I get to here, conscript infantry, more conscript infantry, and line infantry. Then I have um, my artillery is here, skirmishers are out in front, general, guards as a reserve, more guards as a reserve. And, um, yeah. And then here, as we look at the Marathon army, I was really hoping that they'd be more in this open part, where I could shoot at them better. But no, they're all on the other side, where there's more trees and stuff like that. And the artillery can't really set up here, because they don't have a good... I mean, I didn't think they'd have a good shot, I guess. And basically, the Indians have a bunch of infantry that probably neither of us are familiar with that well. Um, you can read the names, I guess. You know, some Hindu warriors and stuff. Hindu matchlock men. The Indian, I don't think their quality is generally very good, but some of them are veteran units, so they'll be better. And then they have their fixed artillery here, but I really don't want them to be able to shoot at me. I don't want to get in their range. War elephants, those are important. And some cavalry there with them more cavalry and the Indian reinforcements are coming in where where are they oh yeah these they're coming in from there so I'm not being I'm not in danger of you know being flanked or anything by the reinforcements And actually, let's get these. Let's get them firing. I'm gonna send my skirmishers up. They can be grouped. Actually, it's probably worth our time to take these walls here. Oh, 
Oh, and I do have some cavalry hidden right there. So let's let the irregulars get off a shot. Or actually, nope. They need to wait a second. There, go. I want them to, you know, pick off the enemy soldiers before they get in range. And actually, let's bring up the rest of the... And I might end up sending my cavalry around to go take out their artillery. I don't know about that yet, though. Actually, since so many of their troops are um, melee, it doesn't really even make sense to bother getting behind the wall, because the wall really helps you when you're being shot at. But not so much, you know, when they're climbing over him, trying to kill you with swords or whatever. So really, they're just trying to close the gap here. Good, fire by rank is working. They can target the war elephants, actually. So the Hindu warriors are... the flank there. It's time for the guards to go help out. And the armed populace is already um, shattered. Yeah, that's good. It's like armor saw or something. Killing him. Probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> uh, whatever. So now the skirmishers are in their zone Get to kill the Hindu matchlock men. And actually, let's bring the cavalry around. I know the artillery probably won't do much damage when we're in this formation, but still, it's better if we kill them, then they won't be around later.
Why? Why did you do that? formation. But they are veterans. And that's got to count for something. I think I just shot two of my own men. Oh, and it does count for something. It counts for a lot, apparently. Because... Cavalry routed. And now we're going to attack their artillery. These guys lost a good amount of men. <laughs> Repelling the Hindu warriors. Those guys are actually pretty tough. But there weren't many of them, so it was okay. Ooh, actually, gotta watch out for that spike. Forgot about that. Oh, and they're fine, apparently. Oh, it's because they're walking through it. Right. Well, I don't have time for that. Actually, we'll just go there. Oh. Well, I wasn't paying attention then. My bad. <laughs> but those guards are just so good that they kind of destroyed the cavalry. are more Hindu warriors coming in. Actually, let's target the horsemen instead. Now let's fire at them. They're still, you know, barely on the Barely within range, so we're not that accurate. But as they come closer... If we can get another volley off, that'd be good. Yeah, like that. That's good that the militia all fired at once. Line infantry wouldn't have done that. why the Hindu matchlock men have such good range. You'd think their weapons would be really bad, you know, but they actually outrange my my line infantry. They're not really doing anything, but it's still kind of impressive that they can shoot that far.
caught the Pandari horseman from behind. Marathans really don't have that much left, so we can fast forward here. Get them. One left. Close victory. And you can see the results here. So that was pretty good. Wow. That's always amazing how some units can kill so many without losing any. Well, okay, the general's bodyguard just was chasing down people, but still. That's what the Marathans get for attacking me. And I'm going to end this episode here, though. Hope you enjoyed. I'll try to upload these throughout this week. And I'll see you guys soon.